Hello, my name is Reslin, and welcome to Father's Frontier. So welcome to year 22. We are going to take a look here at what we're doing. Part of what we're uh, still in the process of doing is upgrading our town walls. At the moment, though, we're going to looking at where we want to put in some more farms. Um, I have uh, I need more food production, and um, I've got five five by ten farms already, but I want to add three more. Um, so this is what I'm, I'm kind of just looking at where they would go. Uh, there's there's decent. Uh, I guess decent fertility here in this area. So just just kind of thinking to where I want to put this here just on the other side of the orchard. The um, the direction of the road here is kind of means I kind of, and to get the 5 by 10 section in here I'm trying to figure out where best to put it. So we put one there. I, I guess I can offset this. Ah, just there's the 5 if I go out the 10, it's kind of where it fits in right here. There's two. Yeah, but I'm gonna get three in. Alright, let's check the trader out. Mm, he's not buying or selling anything of any interest. I mean, and I don't have very many pots. I've only got 10 pots at the moment. But he doesn't buy on them anyway. He doesn't buy the gold. I need to get something to where I, I need to focus on some of these traders and figure out what they will buy and so that I can sell stuff to them. It does have bricks, but I just can't afford to buy the bricks. Now, I've got another trader coming in here. We're early in the year. The traders are coming in early this year. That's nice. So we'll check out the uh, butcher. Let's see what the butcher has on him. And um, he will buy some medicine tools and weapons and iron which I'm not producing uh, hmm. he has food items I think this year is going to be a bust for trading and that's actually quite a problem he trade every year I am very well and I've got plenty of food but I still bought some more I'm not gonna hurt anything to have a little bit more Well, second thought, I probably could have saved my money there, but anyway, all right, it is what it is. So we've, we've checked out the traders. The traders weren't really helpful, didn't have a lot to sell this year. Did sell some stuff last year, but I definitely need to start making an eye toward always selling more than I buy, especially since I am running a negative on my income taxes. All right, let's get back to the farming here. Um, I want three farms, and I need to put fences around these things. So let's check out and see. But I don't, I don't like the way this is going to work. So I need to. Um, if you don't put fences around the farms, you end up losing stuff to wildlife and various other things. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's see. let's disable. In fact, let's remove the build site. The other farm is okay, but I don't like this one. So let's see. Uh oh. We've got raiders coming in. 21 raiders. I guess we'll come back to the farming in a minute. Um, yeah, we see them coming down the road there. I've got some farm farmers, hunters, fishermen out here. And oh, that's a lot of raiders coming in. So uh, let's see. Yeah, 21 of them. You can't select the raiders. that You can see them, but you can't select them. All right, so we'll close that out. Time to get my people inside. I do have a fence there. They'll have to come around the fence, but it's not closed in, so uh, it's not going to do much for slowing them down. Um, I've got two people here. I'm going to increase this up. Uh, recruitment cost will go up, but the... Um, let's see. Let's put that in there. It's definitely costing me some money, but that's good. And let's turn on the, uh, let's ring the alarm. We have raiders coming in, guys. Now let's grab all of my uh, people, uh, my villagers here, and let's move them back to safety. I still wish that the uh, when you ring the town bell, I think all of the villagers should uh, should come into the uh, should come into the town. They should come in and come to the town center, even if they can't. Even if they can't all fight in the town center, they should all retreat to the town center. That 
Right now they just kind of ignore that and continue going on their way. The raiders are attacking. So here they come and we should start seeing arrows flying. There we go. Oh boy, yes. And now boy, it's doing some good damage to them. Nice. Of course, there's 21 of them, so this is going to take a while. But they are taking a beating here. The other tower now is taking effect. And uh, some of them are even starting to run already. Very good. We've got my... Uh, Villagers getting out here, getting out of the way. All right. One of the raiders went down. Some of them are heading toward the town center. They are not having any success with that. So they have now decided to run. It looks like all of them are running. They're still being shot at. That's what we're looking for. That is the kind of response that we want. Uh, they are not taking near as much damage now. They were taking 26 earlier. Now they're only taking 9 per shot. That's okay. They're all running away. That's what we want. Let them go. So now that we've got that in place, let's see. Yeah, let's see. You need to, you're a soldier. You need to get back. I don't want you chasing the guys. All right, let's turn off the alarm. The raiders have decided to give up. And let's go back over here to our farm and let's get rid of these roads. Let's rerun the roads in this section. If I reroute the roads, I can build the farm and do a little better job of how I build the farm here. So the raiders have all taken a, taken a hike. Their raid was unsuccessful and that was what we were looking for. Was a was for them to not have any success. So we took, we put down the second farm, and then we go up here and we put down the third farm. All of these are being put down as 10 by 5. That's going to give me three more farms. Now we want to, uh, now I've got the, uh, right here in the middle of that, I've got this clay pit. Uh, I, I want to run the road around the clay pit. So let's come, let's see. Let's see what I can do about this. I do have a, yeah, run it over there and then just straight down through here. Awesome. There we go. Oh, nine villagers graduated. Awesome. All right, now there's the raid message. Let's see how we did. Uh, we killed six of them. They destroyed two buildings. I think that was two little they, two fences they destroyed around my farms. We'll we'll deal with that later. Um, and they took a hundred flour. All in all, a hundred flour for them to go away is is a. Uh, we'll take that trade off. That's not bad. Acceptable. I will call that a successful defense. I'm pretty happy with it. And it looks like we've got some new villagers coming into the town. Um, I'm probably going to accept those villagers. We're at 128. I can take the nine of those and it'll get me up to about 140. I'm building these new farms. I need people to work them. So they'll, they'll, they'll be they'll be good workers for the new farm. Uh, kind of That should work. So let's put a fence around. Uh, just go ahead and run the fence all the way around my new farms. Bring this down here. Yep. There's the people. Oh, there's 10 of them. Nice. So, yes, I do believe we will accept them. Just thinking about this, 128. I'm still struggling with food supplies, but that's okay. Let's go do that. Uh, we have a housing shortage, so we have to solve the housing shortage before we do anything else. Going to need to build some houses. And let's see where we can put these houses. We'll run a road right down through here. Uh, hmm, can't go all the way up there. So let's see. And uh, that's that's not straight. Let's bring it in to right there, and then offset it right there, and do that right there. Right there. All right, there we go. I don't want to move that building at the moment, so we'll just build the road crooked. It's fine. No one will care. And we'll put a little road in there. Now we need some housing. As my people are going along doing this stuff, that they're, they're things, we're, uh, we've successfully defended ourselves this time. We're going to need three houses to house these new people. And let's see. Hmm. Barely fits in here. It will fit, but... It's not by much, so there's one. Uh, 
Let's uh, let's see. Let's get this. We need a second house in here, and we'll put. Yes. All right. There's a second house. Now we need the third house. And it won't go there because of that other house, but I can place it. I could put it there, or I could move it over here. Let's put it there. All right. There we go. Three houses. Once they get those houses built, we will be in good shape for the um, for what we're doing. We have some people in there cutting trees down. That's good. We need trees. We'll hard. We'll mark some more trees for harvest. All right. Very good. There's some trees over here. All right. More trees to harvest. We uh, we're keeping up with the wood. Okay. We got lots. Of, we got enough firewood to supply these people. We have a hundred and thirty-seven people at the moment. Now that was ten people came in. One hundred and twenty-eight. One hundred and thirty-seven. So we we lost somebody to something. That's all right. Normal course of events. So basically, you can see here that the walls are going up around this. We lost another one. That's okay. So now we really only need two of these houses, technically. But we will prioritize the houses. And we'll, I'm going I'm to go ahead and build all three of them. Just put them on priority build orders. And uh, we still need we need another well. Oh, we've already got two wells over in this area. I don't. Hmm. I will put a well there. All right, let's. Uh, so everything looks fine in here. Still losing quite a bit of money each month up there. Um, just make sure where we have. We don't have enough laborers. We are short. Uh, we're short one laborer. It's wanting us to have sixteen, and we only have fifteen. Um, we do have seven people building at the moment. So once the build orders go away, the uh, or once we finish doing the building, we'll have enough laborers. So that's a temporary problem. The uh, housing shortage has got to be resolved before winter gets here. So probably more important to do building. We've still got some walls that need to be built. Um, we've still got a section down through here that we've not replaced the little short wall with a the more the better palisade wall. There's areas here on the other right side that don't have it. Here's my school kind of in the middle of the town. It's covering most of the houses, not all of them, but most of them. At some point, I probably need to think about redesigning, relaying out my downtown area, but that's, uh, we'll come back to that. Certainly needs to be looked into. My markets don't cover these new houses, which means I'm not getting any taxes from them. Now, that is a little bit more concerning given how much problems I'm having with income. So we're still minus 12 here. Minus 12 a month, it will really eat through my taxes. We were at minus 2, and I think we're at minus 12 because we added two new soldiers. We've got four soldiers instead of two, um, so now we're running a negative 12. Um, we can't sustain negative 12. Um, we'll have to see if, that, if we can get that number up a little bit, maybe get a market in somewhere. Um, coming back over here, we still need to get the fence around here. We didn't finish our fence. We got distracted. So let's bring the fence in. We'll put in a uh, we'll put a gate in, in each one of these areas so that there's a way into the farm area. Now we need to put the gates in. One here, one in front of this farm right here, and one right where the tree's at. Huh. All right, a message that firewood is low. That's probably due to the fact that I just built three new houses. That's the soap shop. Here we go. Here's my firewood splitter. We'll add another person splitting firewood. That should help alleviate that problem. It may take a little bit of time, but it'll get alleviated. All right. 
All right, so here's the fish. Here's things along the, there's hawthorn, there's herbs and willow bushes here along the shoreline. Uh, more herbs and hawthorn. Uh, herbs and willow, or no, that's medicinal root. All right, so um, I think we're doing okay there. We've got one of our new farms I see in there. Let's see, we need to add our crops in. Now this year is done. So next year we'll start out with work, three working of the things. Then we will do some turnips and then some clover and then another thing of work. And then for the last year we'll put in the, once again, turnips and the other clover and then a work period. So we'll have to come back to that. Now we've still got, look at all of the people out here who are clearing the area for the farmland. That is a lot of people. So the number of well, the work uh, effort that's got to be done to complete that, it'll finish pretty soon. We have a temporary shelter and the potter building. We want to continue making pottery. That's one of the ways we're funding our town at the moment. We are still operating at a deficit. And that number continues to be a minus 12 per month. That is very concerning to me. So we've got 137 of 140 people. So we did increase the size of our town. Uh, so it might be a good thing we've got the, uh, the extra farms going to be coming online here in the next year. But we do have plenty of food at the moment going into winter. Of course, we lost some people due to influenza. Uh, they're sick, which means they're not working. Now, firewood, we are out of firewood, and we are just about to go into winter, and we have no firewood. Hmm. That could be problematic. We did chop some wood down. So they are working on the firewood. Hopefully most of the houses are stocked with firewood. And then there's my gold report. I'm still monitoring that. I'm still concerned about that. And it comes back down to these new houses I built aren't paying any taxes. They're, they, they don't have a market covering them. The coverage area has a lot of overlap between my two markets. So I'm not getting as much out of the, each market as I could. This is part of this redesign I probably need to do. Once I get the thing walled off, I may need to build sections of the town and kind of build that out. I'll have to wait for a while, though. With the building time it takes to build things, rebuilding a section of town can become difficult. So looking at the people who are sick, I've got three people who are sick at the moment. Uh, I could turn on the healer. I guess I could turn this on for a temporary thing. Let's see. Uh, let's turn this on and see how it does for healing people. Now that's going to make my net, my profit margin dip even worse because I can't leave it on very long. But just maybe long enough to treat the people who are sick. Let's see what this does. So we're in the winter. Compost yard is in here. Everything's... I'm seeing piles of refuge in town. Uh, refuse. Uh, yeah, they're, they're not picking all of it up. I think I need a second compost yard. So they're uh, they're definitely not keeping up with picking up the the crap. So let's see if I'm going to build another compost yard. Uh, I really don't want it that close to my settlement. It is convenient to have it pretty close, but I don't want it that close because it negatively impacts things. Of course, my villager is now feeling worse. That's not good, even with the doctor. Hmm, the festival pole gives people entertainment. I wonder if that would make them pay more taxes. I'd certainly hope so. Oh, now we've got one of them died. What, two of them are feeling worse. So they're certainly not getting better. The smallpox still have three sick. So, 
All right, let's see, compost yard. I need another compost yard. That's definitely going to be an issue here. So I want to keep this far enough away that it is not impacting the desirability of my town. As we can see, it has a very negative impact. Of course, I mean, think about it, a compost yard. I mean, it, were they picking up refuse and dropping it off, that thing would stink. Oh Lord, you wouldn't want to live close to that. Thanks for watching and take care.